I think last year's biggest and most hyped release was certainly not a Predator remake, despite the 800 of them that we got. The biggest and most hyped release, in actual fact, was the F-50 Addy Zero Memory Lane Pack, where we saw multiple different F-50s recreated, reincarnated, adjusted slightly, and put back out on the market from Adidas. People went big for those. Now, I was lucky enough to pick up a pair of the Unisport ones, which are just unbelievable. I didn't actually cover them at the time, but let's do it now. And thankfully, and a huge thank you to the guys at boothype.com, specifically Jay, because he has let me borrow his F50 Addy Zero Remake Memory Lane Soccer.com colorway, this crazy light colorway, but there is a big difference between this and this that I definitely want to go over today, and it's not just the colorways that inspired them. What's up guys, I'm James from Boot Wizard and welcome to the channel. If you haven't been here before, we do boot reviews, we do boot play tests, we do boot unboxings. If it's to do with football boots, we cover it. So like the video, get subscribed, and if you do want to support the channel, please head to patreon.com forward slash boot wizard. Your support is greatly appreciated. But let's jump straight into it and take a look at these boots. So what was the memory lane pack? So these were remakes, which means that they have one-to-one -one remake uppers on all the boots with brand new tooling. So this is the new X Ghosted tooling with that Carbotex insert, which is just phenomenal. If you really wanted an F50 back, but you thought they couldn't make it any better, that's how you make it better. This outsole is fantastic. They did come with the original uppers though, which if I'm being honest on this particular model, that older style F50 upper before they did change it to the hybrid touch. It's not great. Like this, it's stiff, it's plasticky, and while people wax lyrical about old F50s, I don't want to see this back. This is a cool boot to have, and I think that Unisport, J Mike, and the team did a phenomenal job on blending the colorways here. So we've got the crazy light blended with the original chameleon colorway. You've even got that F50 logoing. This, in my opinion, is without question the best colorway from the Memory Lane remake pack. Even the way that the color kind of fades from one side to the other in the sole plate. I just think it, this is fantastic. Whether you like the colorway or not, the ingenuity that went behind it is just so good. And in my opinion, this is how you do a remake. You take inspiration, you maybe give that one to one upper, but you don't just slap an old colorway out again on new tooling. It was fine a couple of years ago when everybody was doing it and it was new. Now it's old hat and I want to see something new. That's what this is, and I bloody love it. However, critical of the upper here, the hybrid touch upper that I mentioned was on the soccer.com release. Now, if you listen to J Mike talk about this particular release, he said they wanted to put the hybrid touch upper on this. However, Adidas were unable to do it because of the design they wanted. The way they wanted that kind of fade and that shimmer effect that you can see in it, they couldn't do that with the hybrid touch upper. So this has the original classic upper from those OG F50s. The 2014 F50 Addy Zero had hybrid touch touch, which is what the Soccer.com one went with. Now, if you're asking about an upper and whether I'd take one back on an Addy Zero, this is the one. Hybrid Touch is a horribly underrated upper. Like, people call for F50s back without really thinking about it, but Hybrid Touch, just bring back this material. It is phenomenal. So you get Hybrid Touch here on an existing F50 Addy Zero silhouette with that old F50 Addy Zero colorway on that brand new X ghosted tooling with this one being a chrome pink finish. My word. Now, do I have a problem with this boot? The only problem is, why? Why did they pick this particular boot to remake? This isn't a particularly popular or good colorway in my opinion. I don't really get why they went with this one. There were so many options, 
something like this would have been nice. I know, I know, but they couldn't do it. But like, it's cool that we got hybrid touch on one of them. And honestly, of all of them, the best performing football boot without a question is this because it has hybrid touch, which is just unbelievable. Like, I didn't realize how much I missed it till I felt this and was like, I need to go and get my Predator LZs out and start playing in those again, because that had hybrid touch as well. Um, I would take this over the Ghosted Synthetic. The Ghosted Synthetic that's out right now, give me hybrid touch, I will take it. And I know that we like the, the two-piece upper because it's a bit more classic, it's easier to wear, but there is advantages to one-piece uppers. Advantages like lockdown, foot wrap, a whole variety of things. So in, from a performance point of view, if you could give me hybrid touch on this tooling with a one-piece X-Ghosted style upper, shape, I suppose, maybe not shape, just style, with that deeper lacing system, oh, heavenly, absolutely heavenly. In terms of quality of boot to go out and wear, this Soccer.com one is absolutely a better boot. However, if you wanna pick up a boot for collectability purposes, I really don't think this is really beatable. This is probably the boot that was most in demand from last year. There's only 400 pairs of both of these released. They both sold out in under an hour and I think that this particular one is going to be well in demand in the future. I've already had people uh, calling, asking for, asking to buy this one off me. Tis not for sale. But in terms of performance, this just, it isn't great. So I think we have to discuss briefly, we'll make another video on this, um, what the purpose of remakes are. Is it to provide you with a collectible nostalgia piece or is it to provide you with a boot that is really gonna give you some old school vibes, but perform at a higher level? And it, there's no reason it can't be both. The F50 misses the performance section a little bit, but it is certainly old school vibes. Uh, this nails most things, if I'm being honest, uh, but I am biased towards a hybrid touch synthetic. Are we getting overkill on Remakes at this point, 100%, but again, that's probably a topic for another video. Do like the video and just suggest down below a whole heap of things that you want to see covered regarding remakes. Maybe the amount of remakes, maybe the type of remakes, the style of remakes, the people who are collecting remakes, people who are going out and buying limited edition boots just to hoard them or resell them, all of it. Anything you want to see, stick it down in the comments. Get subscribed so you can pick up the videos that I am able to make. But that's all from me here today. Have a good one. We'll see you soon. Go and follow boothype.com, read their articles, and say a huge thank you to Jay for me.